So hi, my name is Jan Leonard and I am Shelby's mom. And if I had to describe Shelby in three words, I would say kind, caring, and quirky. So I think that Shelby would think of this blood drive being in her honor. Uh, I think that she would be humbled and I think she would be quite surprised actually. So the blood drive became memorialized to Shelby because at the time of her illness, um, she had a rare form of cancer that required her to be on a heart-lung machine, which is known as an ECMO machine. And one of the um, quirky things about the ECMO machine is that it needs blood products in order to function properly. Not only does it need blood products, it needs specific blood products that match the recipient's blood type. So for better or for worse, Shelby had a rare um, blood type, which is A negative, and um, we at some point came uh, to the conclusion that we were running low on blood products. There was a resident that came to me late one night and announced this and in my panic, I of course called my friends and family and said, can anyone please come down and donate? So as word got out to the Sacred Heart community and to the larger community, People um, became aware of what was going on, and as Sacred Heart always does, they answered the call and um, agreed to do a blood drive in order to fill the need for the blood products that shall be needed. And as a result of that, even after her death, we decided that a great way for us as a family and Sacred Heart as a community to give back to the community that had helped us so much was we would do an annual blood, blood drive. So that is how this came to be. Hi, I'm Sewell Vallette and I have known Shelby since 2010. I was fortunate enough to have been Shelby's seventh and eighth grade social studies teacher. If I had to describe Shelby in just three words, I would choose first humble, gracious and gentle and in fact I always thought that she'd be a front runner for her class as mater. Uh, the memory that sticks out most in my mind is the time when Shelby asked if this bald spot on top of my head was the perfect spot for yarmulke. She thought I might be Jewish and then in her attempt to apologize for what she assumed was an insult was one of the most precious moments I've experienced as a teacher. The one thing that I would want people to know about Shelby, I really don't have just one. I would say I have like a bunch of things that Shelby was just such an important person. And to me to explain her and describe her by using one important thing wouldn't be enough. But I guess just how silly and fun loving and carefree she was as a person, but then also to look around Sacred Heart and to see her impact. Like, I feel like a couple of students might know this, but not everyone, but the angel on the second floor in the hallway is because of Shelby. The lavender bench on the third floor is because of Shelby. So just little reminders that you probably pass by day after day are all because of her. So she, um is a member of the class of 2015 um, and uh, she came to Sacred Heart in third grade. Okay, she has a sister that also graduated as well um, there. I think being around her friends was probably um, her favorite part. Um, I remember in middle school we had sections um, and I think she loved you know being with her section every day. She was in my section um, my eighth, our eighth grade year um, and so I think just being a part of the community. I would describe her, Shelby, as unapologetically herself, um, very humble, um, and just naturally hilarious. If I had to tell people one thing about Shelby, she was one of the most generous people that I've ever taught. Definitely Sul Vallette was her favorite part of Sacred Heart. <laughs> I, one thing that I would want people to know about Shelby is um, that she was always unapologetically herself. Um, you know, she loved the Beatles. She um, was one of, the, she was never, she was just friends with everyone. You know, she was that girl where she had a ton of friends. And I think that's, you know, the most beautiful thing about Shelby. Her favorite color, this is kind of, I guess, like a debate, 
We always thought it was lime green, but then we all started wearing lavender, um, which is funny. And I guess it just shows the two sides of Shelby, the funny, quirky, hippie girl with the lime green, and then also just the sincere, friendly, compassionate, sweet girl with the lavender. How amazing she was. Um, so there is a quote, a Nike quote that um, I still you know, live by today that to just be yourself. And I think that's who Shelby was. She was herself. You know, she loved the Beatles, um, you know, and she was never afraid to be herself. And that's something, it's this quote, and it's all your life you're told the things you're not do, um, you cannot do. Um, but the important thing is that you tell them yes. And I think that is something that, you know, today that, you know, my grade, I, I always try to live by is always telling people, yes, I can do this. And this is something that I want to do and I will do. I think Shelby would want people to give blood because she did not like to see suffering in the world. She didn't like to see it in her group of friends, in her family, in her siblings, um, anywhere in the world. And so many cancer patients require blood products in their journey, in their um, health journey. And I think that she would want people to be able to have every chance at a healthy outcome and blood, particularly with cancer patients, is just a big part of that equation. Um, as a result of this blood drive, this Sacred Heart community has donated over a thousand units of blood since this started. And we have become one of the biggest and most successful blood drives in the New Orleans community. So the scholarship um, was developed with myself and Sewell um, Vallette. It is a social studies based scholarship, but it's also a scholarship about character and about um, justice and about treating people equally and fairly. And that was one of Shelby's qualities that she did not like injustice in the world, in the community, within her friend group. Um, and so that was a really big sticking point with myself and Mr. Vallette that we wanted to make that not just an academic scholarship, but more of a character scholarship. And we always search out a recipient that might be surprised that they would win this scholarship, that they are the ones that are sitting thinking everyone else is going to get something and I might be passed over. And lo and behold, they are the recipient of this scholarship. So with this blood drive, we're trying to cultivate a legacy of, uh, of blood donors. And this can be something that you do for the rest of your life. We are trying to encourage young people to start this process. We know it's a little bit scary the first time, but once you do it, you feel so good about giving back to your community, to your small community here at Sacred Heart, and to the larger community as well. At the end of the day, because of the people that the Blood Drive serves, I think that Shelby is happy that we've done this. I think Shelby would be honored and humbled to know um, that there is a blood drive in her honor. And so if I could encourage, or if Shelby were here to encourage, I think she would definitely say, right now is the right time to donate blood. My husband and I will be here for the blood drive. We would love to meet any and all of you that come out to donate in Shelby's memory. And we hope to see you at the blood drive.